Ra ra ah ah ah, Roma Roma ma ga ga, ooh la la, what you been romance? Squad, this your girl should point coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people, hey, my people, y'all. I am coming to you today with a story time. And as you can see, I'm moving around, and that's because I'm putting on my clothes. But, um, uh, this was the time that I thought I had cancer. Um, I was 30 years old, 30. I think I was 30. And um, you know how they tell women and men to do breast examinations? Well, that's what I did. I was doing a breast examination, and I found a lump, and it hurt. Now, not knowing that when you find a lump, you don't know whether the lump's supposed to hurt or it's just supposed to be a funny feeling. You, you, you know, you, you don't know. So I, I, I had that lump for a while. But I just thought it was going, I thought I had hit myself or whatever. And so I told my mama, and y'all, I was so worried that I had cancer. Like, cause cancer runs in my family. Um, but, uh, my mama, she, you know, she felt my breast and whatever. She felt the lump. She ended up finding a doctor for me. And come to find out it wasn't cancer thank god it was fibrocystic breast disease and if any of you know what that is that's just when they do the ultrasound your breast tissue looks like you know that cheese with holes in it that's what you know my my breast tissue looked like and it did not help that i had a breast reduction the breast was the breast reduction exacerbated the situation and so you know every three to six months I had to have an ultrasound done and since my breast was not changing you know they weren't getting any worse they weren't getting any better he just told me to not drink any wine drink any beer don't eat nothing but American cheese which you know sandwich cheese um he told me don't drink any dark sodas. Um any, any, anything that was aged, I couldn't I couldn't consume. I couldn't eat no chocolate. I was like, no, no chocolate. <laughs> That's how I was. Like, no chocolate. What you mean? No chocolate. <laughs> I mean I was cutting up, like, oh my god, no cheese. But, you know. I don't, I, I, I really don't drink dog sodas anyway, you know, but I probably drink a dog soda every now and then if I need a good old hard burp, because you know, I got acid reflux and all that, and so, you know, sometimes I need a, a good old hard, down deep burp, and I would drink a Coca-Cola. I don't like Pepsi, but, you know. Um, I drank a cup of cola because it's strong, and I that's the only time you would ever see me actually drink a dog soda is, is, is if I need to, you know, have a burp, or if I just want that 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 strong taste of a soda, I would drink a dog soda every night. Every night, then I didn't, I'll drink a dog soda. I stay away from the Dr. Peppers. I I tell that story later. Um. But yeah, as far as cheese, I don't eat Parmesan cheese. If I do eat Parmesan cheese, it's on my spaghetti or on my pizza. And I don't eat pizza all the time. I probably eat pizza every every blue moon. Um, when I do drink, y'all, mm, I'm the only thing I'm really supposed to drink is drinks that got vodka in it. That's that's it. Uh, but I drank them Rita's. I drank wine, I drank beer, and I'm um, readers ain't nothing but beer, flavored beer. Um, but yeah, I drank beer. Mm, but that's every now and again. Sorry, I'm gonna be buying some beer today when I go out. Mm. Uh, 
let's see what else that's basically it but you know i i don't i've cut back on a lot of this stuff i i, I drink it every now and then i eat it now every now and then well sometime when i'm on my menstrual cycle have to have chocolate when sometimes sometimes now sometimes when my menstrual cycle come on i be craving chocolate not all the time but sometimes and when i'm craving that chocolate whoo oh my god but yeah and i ain't gonna talk about when my menstrual cycle come on how bad my boobs be hurting man when my cycle come on and my boobs go to hurting y'all, I be just like this. I be just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then it, after, after maybe a day or so, pain gone, it don't last long. Now, in the beginning, when I was 31, 32, look at him. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. But now, Maybe a day or two, it'll go away after a day or two, two the pain in my, in, in my boobs. You know, sorry for stuttering. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what it's like to have, yeah. That's, that's my story of how, how I found out that I had fibrocystic breast disease. They call it change. I thought I had cancer. But I don't, by the grace of God, thank you, Lord Jesus, I didn't have cancer because I was scared. And the way my doctor told me, the way that you know that you have cancer or you don't have cancer is if you're checking yourself for lumps and if, your, and if you touch your breast and it hurt, it's not cancer. It's not cancer. But if you touch yourself during the breast examination and it don't hurt, you need to worry and you need to go and get checked so yeah so he eased my mind and i was like thank you lord but um that was that's my story of my cancer scare turning into fibrocystic breast disease slash change and if you made it to the end of this video y'all put put uh cancer scare in the comment section Let's have this conversation. Give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 200 likes, 200 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber. And like I always say at the end of all my videos, have fun playing with your nails. If you want nails, if you're going your, or, if you're, or if you're going your own, have fun playing with your makeup. If you want makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Bye-bye.